This is Mike Finnerty of the Sure West Sports Show, and the following clip has been brought to you by the Sure West Sports Show, airing on SureWestSports.com. We begin our Little League All-Star highlights with major division action from District 5, where on Thursday it was Fair Oaks Orangevale taking on Whitney Little League of Sacramento. Action began right away in this one when Jason Gallagher of Fair Oaks Orangevale smacks his grounder to the right side. The base hit scores a pair of runs, and just like that, it's a 2-0 lead for Fair Oaks Orangevale. To the bottom of the first now with Whitney up to bat and threatening to score with runners at second and third and no out. Fair Oaks Orangevale starter Sean Miller rose to the challenge and proceeded to strike out the next three batters he would face to get out of the inning and keep his team up at two zip. After a tough first inning, Whitney starting pitcher Tyler Adge bounced back in the second and third innings to keep Fair Oaks Orangevale off the boards where he allowed just one hit over that span. As for Miller, he continued his domination on the hill. Miller blanked Whitney's lineup into the second and third innings, racking up strikeouts along the way for a total of eight. In the top of the fourth, Fair Oaks Orangeville looked to add to their 2-0 lead when this time Miller did it with his bat, sending this pitch back up the middle for a base hit. That would bring home Curtis Leonard from second to make it now a 3-0 Fair Oaks Orangeville advantage. With Miller still on the hill and in full control of this game, there just wasn't much the Whitney offense could do as Miller kept the shutout going while upping his strikeout total to 12 through five innings of play. In the sixth, Fair Oaks Orangeville added some insurance when Leonard flied out to shallow right center. That would allow Gabe Platt to score from third, upping the lead to four nothing. Whitney wasn't about to give up on this game and they were finally able to convert a couple of Fair Oaks Orangeville miscues which would lead to a pair of runs, but it wouldn't be enough. Miller was replaced on the hill by Logan Eggleston, who puts the finishing touches on this one as Fair Oaks Orangeville hangs on to get the 4-2 victory as they resume play this week.